Now then, folks, it's James JT at the movies back here again. As you can see, I'm not in the movie space, uh, but I'm uh, I'm facing it. So today is going to be a different video to the norm. Uh, myself and Laura, who's behind me, Hello. and um, we're we're going to be basically looking at actually putting this lot into some sort of an order. Uh, moved into this house three years ago um, without delving into it. It's been a, a very hectic and uh, traumatic three years in our personal lives. And so really things have just sort of been thrown into the house and sort of put where they where they are. In particular the movie collection, uh, which is mo mostly here. And then as you uh, will see uh, when it hits YouTube in our Jackie Chan vlog, there's some down the bottom of the bedroom steps. And then we keep a little shelf in the, in the front room of things that we're trying to work our way through watching as well. So I've got the whole collection up here. So everything's shelved, as you can see here. Blu-rays there, my James Bond section up there. Um, and then just like overflow here and there. sign and there we go so that's pretty much everything that's in the in the normal movie space and um, well uh, it's, it's in our bedroom so I've uh, excuse uh, my dressing gown with a bag of DVDs there which is the stuff that was on the shelf in the lounge that needs sorting out because some of it we've watched and just not brought up here and then that basket and everything on the bed there with Laura uh, is what all the stuff that was at the bottom of the stairs. So what we're going to try and do is organise it into categories, uh, so genres, and then a few subcategories of that. Laura, what did we decide we were choosing, sweet? So we have got so for categories we've got action, horror, thriller slash drama, comedy, sci-fi slash fantasy, family, music slash documentary, and superhero. Excellent. And then we've also got a little section which we put in for actors. So we're going to make collections for certain actors. Yeah, actors and directors, wasn't so it? Thank we've you. got Harrison Ford. We've got Schwarzenegger, Jackie Chan, Stallone. We've got Clint Eastwood, Christopher Nolan. He's not an actor, but he's a very good director. That'll only be a very small section. Well, that he's um, only got ten got films or so. So, um, so yeah. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to check in as we uh, as we go. But here's just a little introduction for yeah. you. We've ended up with a few more categories. I'll go through it all at the end. And uh, we've started to put things onto uh, onto shelves now. So this is kind of going to be a horror slash thriller section. So I've started taking things off. As you can see, the stuff that's on the shelf is a whole mixed bag of everything. So I've started taking stuff off. This is a, a pile of things that's going to go back on. And I'll obviously put it in some sort of order. So yeah, slow progress, eh, Law? Yeah, yeah, but we're getting there. We're getting there. So, uh, I'm sat on the floor currently arranging things. So at the moment... This down to here is horror, supernatural, slasher, anything under that horror bracket. And then down here is where I've started with sort of what I'd consider to be thrillers. The categories are going to be quite vague because otherwise, you know, you'll, you'll be sat for hours doing the sort of, oh, well, does it fall into this or does it fall into that, which we've already spent time doing this morning. So I'm just being a bit more ruthless because once I've got them where I, I vaguely want them, I can uh, I can sort it. So what I'm doing now is going through the rest of the shelves. As you'll see, there's gaps starting to appear, and and separating the bits and bobs where you know things have have just been put away for being put away sake. Like I said at the start, uh, so that we can have a nice bit of a a continuous flow throughout. And then uh, tomorrow's job will be to sort the Blu-rays. As you can see, I've not as many Blu-rays. And uh, so it should be uh, should be an easier job. So we're up here on the top of the the movie shelves now. Really, this is where overflow goes. But I'm hoping that I can make it a section. So I'm going to start taking stuff down, getting it all sort of organised and separated. Same with this lot here. These two stacks. I'm hoping that I can make these sort of smaller sections. So I'm not really a big TV watcher, so I thought, well, I'll turn this top shelf that I don't really come to all that much. Instead of it being overflow, I'll turn that into TV. So you can see it's mostly just stuff like Futurama, Family Guy. I've got some Simpsons and stuff to go up here. Breaking Bad, still to watch. Tintin, used to love that as a kid. Porridge, Sherlock. I never bothered after season three, because to be honest, I thought it got a bit daft. There you go. A uh, season of murder she wrote that I won. I didn't actually mind that. I was in hospital um, when I was younger and, and then recuperating at home. Used to watch that a bit. 
um, on the you know for, for daytime TV. So when I ended up winning that, I thought, Do you know what, I'll keep hold of it. Someday I will will watch it again. So guys, a few hours later now, uh, we just absolutely cracked on with this. So I'll give you a bit of an update. So I think Blu-rays are going to be tomorrow's job. So there's there's the shelves at the bottom of the steps, which I'm going to show later on in the video. So you can't really see it, but as I showed earlier behind this lot, the, the top is going to be television, so, you know, it's mostly, I've got series of things like Simpsons, Futurama, Family Guy, and then a few other series there and stuff, so they, they need to, to go away. Uh, this is some of sci-fi which I need to find a home for. These here are what I'm calling classics, so, uh, you know, Brighton Rock, Lady Killers, Third Man, Cabinet of Dr. Calgary, Metropolis, um... Maltese Falcon there, uh, Casablanca, Big Sleep, uh, and, a, and you know a few few others in there. Um, Great Dictator, uh, Charlie Chaplin. So yeah, so th those are ones that I'm sort of like, well I'm calling them classics really. Sort of, I'd say you know sort of 60s and previous, and uh, yeah. So I suppose it's uh, it's a bit of a vague category, but I just felt that sort of you know they. Uh, they all seem to fit quite well together. So they're probably going to go... Well, they are going to go downstairs. I had all these in and amongst things. These, like... like stuff. I think some of my dad had some of these. And um, I've picked a couple up in charity shops along the way. But, like, these four film collection jobbies. Um, they're kind of just miscellaneous. So I'm kind of treating them as such. Um, move my coffee cup. So, up here, horror starts at the moment. This is what we've done. Horror comes down and ends so far, um, basically here. So, uh, yeah, things have pretty much taken shape here now. So, you've got from just after where the little Hagrid statue is, that's drama uh, and biopics. And then that comes down into this section that was overflow. It all seemed to fit quite nicely, so I'm quite happy with that. So, folks, this is that overflow area that I talked about at the bottom of the bedroom steps. And uh, before I show it, I'll just sort of talk you through uh, what I've done with this bit. So... At the moment, this shelf here, which depending on the order of how these videos come out, you might have seen full with overflow DVDs, but that's what it used to be. At the moment, there's still stuff upstairs to go on it. The top shelf is now my HMV Premium Collection Blu-rays, and then my very, very um, humble Criterion Collection there. Um, Criterions are something I found just quite recently. Um, and so I haven't really, haven't really sort of delved into that. But anyway, it's uh, it's a start. And then we sort of jump into this. So the main sort of focus of this shelf is like favourite actors uh, of mine. And then we have a sci-fi section at the bottom. So we start here uh, with Jackie Chan uh, across the top there, and then Jackie Chan comes and ends there at that card. Um, we then move into Clint Eastwood, both um, acting turns and directing. That goes on to the end of there. And then we then come over here and start down there, and that's Nicolas Cage, another of my favourite actors. I know he's terrible, but uh, God love him all the same. And then that goes up to this card here. On the other side of this card, that is um, my Sylvester Stallone filmography. We then move on to this shelf down here, and I hope you can see okay, uh, that's Arnold Schwarzenegger, and then it's Arnold Schwarzenegger again up to the card. In between the two cards uh, are some of my Tommy Lee Jones films. These are the films um, of Tommy Lee Jones where he's, he's not in, say, an ensemble cast, or it might fit into another section. I've tried not to be too precious with the, um, with the sections, and... Um, you know, so things like Men in Black is well, it's there in sci-fi, and um, what's the what's the Eastwood one that him and Eastwood are in together? Space Cowboys is is up there, that sort of thing. Anyway, past the next card, um, we start into my favourite actor of all time. Um, so we, Harrison Ford starts here with the Fugitive, and then goes across to the end there 
above here and then there's some Harrison Ford Blu-rays as well I just need to put my Blade Runner and Blade Runner 2049 Blu-rays in there and then that's my entire Harrison Ford filmography uh, save for Anchorman 2 which I've kept upstairs with Anchorman because it's only really a cameo and then from this shelf onwards and down it's, uh, it's sci-fi and fantasy so th these are just my DVDs so you, you might have noticed that there's Blu-rays there and then actually there's a few Arrow Blu-rays there and Eureka 101, 88 films, Indicator, that sort of thing. Um, this shelf is the same model of shelf as the ones I've got upstairs in Ikea. Uh, or it's, it's called the same thing anyway. And I don't know whether I've bought the wrong dimensions or whether they've made it more compact. But historically you used to be able to get DVD, DVD, DVD in there with a little bit of breathing um, you know breathing space at the end now you can get DVD DVD and Blu-ray so I don't really like mixing the formats um, but I suppose I'm having to make make do with the space that I've got so sci-fi continues there and then it sort of finishes there so folks day two um, I'm behind the camera again um, so this is the start of the blu-rays these are all the blu-rays that would have been on the shelves at the bottom of the steps and in the living room uh, in the to watch pile and things have been watched and then like I say either not put away or tastes have changed all that sort of stuff so um, sat on the floor in the movie space um, it's dusty as hell on these bottom shelves starting to organize things I'm not doing the categories as um, as in-depth as I did the DVDs because I don't have the the quantity of blu-rays that I do DVDs so I'm doing action adventure and like thriller mystery all as one category I'm gonna do horror um, sort of like drama uh, you know family kids films I'm still going to try and separate some of my actors like I've got Nick Cage there there's there's loads on the bed as you can see there and there's all them there and then there's there's loads on the shelves to be, be sorted yet uh, superhero is going to be a, a genre of its own and uh, and yeah so that's where we are at the moment so folks a few days later now I thought I'd give a a little bit of a, an update on where we are with this uh, organising of the movies. Um, so, this is the drama section. Uh, drama starts up there on the top shelf about where Hagrid is. What I've done since we've last spoken is I've popped in these little sort of, uh, excuse my uh, my scroll, uh, but these little sort of dividers so that I know where each section starts. And then also on the shelves as well, I've put these little bits here just to let me know sort of roughly where where things are. If I'm having friends over for a movie night, obviously once all this all blows over, uh, people know where it is. So, same drama above there and then over here to the side. And uh, and then from here, this, this first shelf if you like is horror. So then I've got horror on there. Nothing on that shelf in terms of a label because obviously it's still horror and then Thriller there because Thriller starts on that shelf. Within each of the individual shelves obviously I don't have um, like an exact split so like horror doesn't end there and then Thriller starts there sort of thing so that's where the little little dividers come for. Under Thriller I've put Thriller, Crime but it's really it's going to be Thriller, Crime, Who Done It, anything that could come under Thriller really um, and I've kept it fairly broad because I didn't want to be sort of like having, you know, three or four films in a, a real niche sort of like thriller section or horror section or action section or whatever. And, and having to uh, do that and it just make things a nightmare for putting away. So thriller continues onto the, onto the bottom there and then we come to the top here. So the other side of Hagrid is all my TV series on Move Godzilla. Um... So, you know, there's everything there. Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, Futurama, uh, Breaking Bad's on the bottom there, Tintin, Porridge, first three series of Sherlock, some Peter Kay, Luther, True Detective, um, Doctor Who, all sorts of stuff. So, uh, yeah, don't fall. <laughs> uh, and then Thriller continues here. So, again, another thing saying TV up there. Um, thriller continues down here. 
Um, and again, very broad in the sense, let's move the James movie room sign. And then we start into action adventure again. It doesn't sort of actually end straight there. Thriller sort of ends here and action starts from there and then carries on all the way to the bottom. This little section here is Jean-Claude Van Damme movies. I've got a bit of an actor's section downstairs and didn't have room for them there, but this amount of movies perfectly fit here. So that's where that is. So, this is what I was working on when I last updated, and that was the Blu-ray shelf. So the top um, and the top here uh, is all uh, all James Bond stuff, uh, so for that metronome, of course. Um, so the top here um, is sci-fi and fantasy, uh, and I've put a little BR next to them, so obviously I know that it's Blu-ray, you know, I'd know, but... That's just uh, the OCD in me coming out. And again, little cards there to show where each section starts. We're moving to superheroes. And uh, again, a little card. This time it's there saying comic book movies. And comic book movies ends there. And then we go into action, adventure and thriller. So I've put the three genres together. Or rather the two genres if we're going by what I've sort of separated it as so far. Mostly because again I have a smaller collection when it comes to Blu-rays. There's probably only about 400 of the collection that are actually Blu-rays. And I just thought again I don't want you know two or three titles in a real niche sort of section and then having to break it up and do all that sort of thing so I chose to keep them together I've put drama and biopics together so that starts there and goes actually perfectly to the end of that shelf there I think actually safe for two titles which I've got downstairs in a to watch pile horror on blu-ray then starts there and again named on the shelf there and, and goes across there and then there's a couple down here that have just gone into my family section I'm a huge Scooby fan uh, a lot of these are from childhood and uh, I just actually still enjoy them uh, John uh, Flickinger on the Flick Pit channel said when the apocalypse hits or when he has his midlife crisis that he'll revert to, uh, to watching Disney movies well it's kind of the same for me except it's Scooby Doo or anything by Hanna-Barbera which is down there so that's kind of the start of the family section. Well, it's actually kind of the end of the family section. And family sort of continues up this little sort of uh, bookcase here, which is purely just there to bridge the gap. Um, and ends sort of here. There we go. And then we go into documentaries slash music video. So uh, got a few bits of bobs there. The Who, Catfish, More Who, Fleetwood Mac and Stevie Nicks, Bee Gees. Peter Frampton, um, that f documentary, fantastic documentary, Free Solo, Ghosts of the Abyss, uh, Cameron's sort of like Titanic follow-up documentary, uh, some Eagles, um, a DVD that was actually from Anne Frank House in Amsterdam, uh, it's a really moving uh, museum, if ever you get the chance to go there and, and see it, it, it's a must. Um, some Top Gear, they were with my dad's so uh, me and Laura both quite like watching classic Top Gear, so we've kept them. These probably should have been in action and uh, and fantasy, uh, respectively. But they've been there since I moved in. Um, and uh, Actually, not since I moved in. No, they've been there since me, me and Phil did the marathon. Uh, I just quite like the look of them. They're really reasonably organised, so I just kept them there. And then this top shelf is a couple of Robert Rodriguez films and then all my DVD Tarantino movies. Uh, the rest I've got on Blu-ray, which are... Uh, Hateful Eight's there, Reservoir Dogs and Grindhouse. So, anyway, more 007, the DVD ones. And then comedy starts there. And uh, some Jim Carrey ones leading up to The Mask and then my replica of The Mask. Comedy continues, 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 continues... And then we get down here, and comic book superhero movies start here. So comedy goes and ends there, and then actually runs up to about there, and then superhero starts from, from there, and then runs to the bottom there, and then the family section starts here, and then obviously goes through what I've just shown you. So that's upstairs um, pretty much sorted out now, and... Uh, I suppose I'm going to tinker with this as I go. Uh, I might try and organise more within each section. Maybe do alpha, alpha, you know, uh, oh, if I could speak alphabetical order, and um, you know, like I've put certain types of films together and stuff there. And I've done that in a few places. Might might do a bit more of that. I don't know. 
uh, we'll see but uh, but that's the upstairs update uh, and we'll have a look at downstairs in a minute so back down the bottom for the final sort of catch up now so this bit here I've just labeled it favorite actors and then as you can see I think I mentioned in earlier sections like we've got Clint Eastwood there Jackie Chan there um, Sir Nick Cage there Stallone there um, Arnie there with the T-800 pop, Tommy Lee, um, Harrison Ford. Then we go into sci-fi, because uh, I didn't have enough room for sci-fi DVDs. And then this shelf is just a bit of a, a mixed bag. So there are two HMV VHS edition Blu-rays. That's something I'm going to watch in a bit. So this top shelf is my HMV Premium Collection, and I've put a little card there. You must excuse my writing, at some point I will get something uh, printed. Uh, to go in these, but these are effectively just placeholders. Uh, criterion there, I've got five of them. Um, but still, this uh, this shelf, I'm calling it classics. And uh, so that's stuff that's on there, you know, Brighton Rock, uh, Gone with the Wind, Cabinet Dr. Caligari, Maltese Falcon, that sort of thing. Um, then there's a Steven Seagal section there, because I didn't have enough room on this shelf uh, without compromising the sci-fi stuff then some war and westerns that I didn't feel fit into any of the other categories a Chris Nolan section his entire filmography um, apart from Tenet again same reason it's on this shelf as to the other and then blu-ray comedy and family I've put together because they were small um, collections so they're there and then this very bottom shelf is miscellaneous stuff uh, like you know, uh, fancy editions. There's some music documentary stuff in there. There's a couple that didn't fit into the other sections. There's these old DVD, like four films on a disc things from years ago that I've got. There's a box set there, sci-fi box set that doesn't fit over here. So that is pretty much, pretty much it. So thank you very much if you've watched this video. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the notification bell, leave a comment below with any thoughts or any comments, and I'd uh, love to have a chat about it. Thank you very much. Cheers.